Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name's David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the fully automated card trick from Caleb Wiles and Vanishing Incorporated. All right, fully automated card trick. You might have seen this trick on Penn and Teller Foolish. Caleb went on the show, he did this trick with Allison. Uh, everything went great. I kind of almost thought he did fool them, but Penn and Teller ended up saying that he didn't. Uh, I can't even show you the Penn and Teller performance, which pretty much is the original trailer, because I don't want to get a copyright strike from Penn and Teller. But um, I'm showing you the Big Blind Media trailer. Uh, Caleb actually released this with Big Blind Media a while back. And so I can show you this trailer, but if you want to see uh, the Penn and Teller performance, I'm sure you can find it on YouTube. Basically what happens is you have a deck of cards uh, and you invite a spectator from your table to perform the trick for the audience. Now there's always one of these uh, types of tricks where the spectator becomes the magician and this really is the best version of that I've ever seen because not only do they do a typical card trick where a card is selected and then lost in the deck and then found again, uh, there's also a kicker ending where you're able to find the three mates of the card as well. This is a great card trick. Let's get into the review. All right, so a couple questions we always ask about everything we review. The first of which is, what is in the box? What's in the box? You're gonna get a hard shell box, hard shell box that's got gold foil all around it. Inside, you are gonna get a full deck of cards and you're gonna get all the gimmicked cards you need because obviously uh, if you watch the if you watch the trailer you'll see that many of the cards uh, have a blank back where you're able to write uh, instructions to your spectator so you need those blank backed cards and you get those plus you get the video link to the instructions which are about 35 minutes long all right so is it what i thought uh kind of i mean it's kind of what i thought because you know if you watch the performance you know that the spectator is doing all the work so it can't have slights to it, right? It has to be self-working. And uh, everything kind of works in order. So it kind of has to be some sort of deck stack. And you see the instruct, I mean, you see everything in the performance, really. I mean, you can't, you can't hide a lot of secret things in a trick like that when you watch it. So yeah, I mean, it was everything I thought it would be, and but I wasn't disappointed. As far as the angles go, the angles are great because you know it's in the spectator's hands the entire time. And if you watch Caleb perform it, I mean, there's no opportunities for flashing or anything weird like that. But as far as whether the cards can be inspected, uh, no. In fact, Penn actually asks that question at the end of Caleb's performance. He says, you know, you, you fooled us if we can go up there and, and inspect the cards. And of course, Caleb said, you can't inspect the cards. All right, so what's the overall quality and production value of the video? Like I said, the video is about 35 minutes long and it does include a studio performance of the effect where Caleb just performs the effect for the camera. It's all mic'd really well. There's no background music. Uh, it's a black background. Caleb's sitting at a black matted table. As far as what he'll teach you, he's gonna go over what's in the box. He'll go over the entire deck setup, uh, including anything that you're going to customize uh, for your own specific uh, trick and then he'll go through the presentation and I think he even includes uh, a little tip at the end. Is it well made? Hey, it's all bicycle made cards. Everything's bicycle made. Uh, bicycle makes the best cards on the planet. So yes, everything's well made. All right, so how much practice does it require? You know, there's a couple of things you would have to think about. Number one, it, it is all in the spectator's hands. So you might be thinking, oh, it's totally hands off. Like I don't have to do a thing. You do have to do something. You have to remember how this trick goes. You're still guiding the spectator. And if you watch Caleb perform this on the Penn and Teller show, uh, you notice that Caleb really still does all the talking. He does all the patter. And he does take the cards periodically and, and help Allison either put them under uh, the the, car, the deck stack or he picks them up off the table like he helps her along and so that is all stuff that you will have to remember how to do there are some key moments where you are doing crucial things under the guise of helping your assistant right and you have to remember all of that so as far as practice goes uh, this entire routine has to become 
second nature for you. It has to look like your spectator is doing all the work, right? But you're secretly doing all the work. So there is kind of a dual reality going on and that will take some practice. All right, so how much setup and reset is there? Uh, this is kind of a one-time thing. Like I can't see you doing a full deck stack, right? You're doing a full deck stack, 52 card deck stack, and then performing it and then somehow going off camera and doing a reset so you can go someplace else. Um, I don't know, how fast are you at a full deck setup? Like that would be my question to you really about whether you would perform this over and over again. I think this is great for parlor magic. I think this is a great opportunity in your parlor magic to invite somebody up and have them do a trick with you. Um, taking it table to table to table to table, I don't know. Like, I guess that would depend on you and how you do table to table magic. I think you could definitely do it once. Um, or maybe uh, if you get a lunch break, you know, you could reset at your lunch break and then maybe do it twice a night. But yeah, it is a full deck setup. So you'd have, I guess that's really more of, you know, is that something that would work in your style? All right, so the positives. What are the positives with this effect? Hey, the fully automated card trick puts a TV quality effect easily in the palm of your hands. This is a fun trick that will leave your audience talking. Is it worth your money? It is 30 bucks, $30. Uh, that's, that's, uh, that's a normal price. Uh, and if you buy a fully gaffed deck, uh, there are a lot of fully gaffed decks that cost about 30 bucks. So 30 bucks is, is a good price, plus the fact that you're getting 35 minutes uh, of instruction, plus the fact that this trick was on Penn & Teller Foolis, right? There, there's been other tricks on the market, definitely, that were on that show that cost a lot more. So Caleb and Vanishing Incorporated have definitely made this a good price point for you. As far as people who would like this, like I've kind of been saying throughout, I think this is great for parlor magic. It's especially gonna have to be somebody that uses table, right? You have a table accessible to you. So whether that's restaurant or, or walk around, that's on you, but you're gonna need a table for this. That's gonna be the best. All right, that's everything I can say about the fully automated card trick from Caleb Wiles, Vanishing Incorporated. I, of course, wanna thank everybody, including Murphy's Magic Supplies, for allowing me to have this so that I could do the review for you. And if you would like to purchase it for yourself, you can find it from your very favorite Murphy's Magic retailer. Thanks, I'll see you guys next time, bye.